academic achievement. In order to be the valedictorian of Treasure Coast High School, you have to meet two criteria. You have to have the highest GPA out of 570 students. And you also have to attend Treasure Coast High School for two years. We have a very special student this year that is going to receive the honor of being ranked number one in our class for the highest GPA in all of our senior class. And I would like to be able to bring Isabella Trujillo to the podium. take the opportunity to recognize those students who were in the top 10 as well. Uh, obviously, we have our number one student with regard to GPA, and then we have our balance out. But now we have the remaining top 10 students that I'd like to uh, call out and recognize. Now, these students as well have worked extremely hard and should be commended and recognized for their efforts and dedication uh, to their uh, academic studies. We're talking GPAs ranging from 4.97 to 5.26. So as I call them their names, uh, please hold your applause until we have them all up there so that way they can get the proper due. Uh, the first person I'd like to call, or the next person I'd like to call up is Katharina Apadu. <laughs> Tiffany Highlander. Alejandro Nino Quintero. Miguel Martinez, Josie Ann Charles, Joseph T. Martin, Nicole Orozco, Shelby Scotese, and lastly, Jonah Charles.
congratulations. This is a time that makes the guidance counselor so, so very, very proud for all of you guys as you receive all of these awards. I'm here tonight to just explain, and I think most everyone knows, the cords that the students received as they walked in. The gold cord 